Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben, this is Books of Bengus Khan, and I have for you my first book haul of 2023. So I cataloged my books a few months ago and realized I'm sitting on about 600 unread physical books, which will take me years to go through. So I realized I need to put the brakes on and really be more intentional about the new releases I buy and the used books I'm getting just to put the brakes on. I've been doing okay at that. I just can't stop from, uh, I can't go on a book buying ban completely because it's just an addiction at this point. And it's a little, it's harmless. Uh, so we'll, here we go. Here's the, I'll start with the new releases and even the special edition new releases that I got through Kickstarter. My Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson just came in and it's a few months late, but that's totally fine. I have no problem with the delay. And this is gorgeous. I think I prefer this mid-priced faux leather premium hardcover to the much more expensive leather bounds that they put out. I love that you get the kind of normal type of cover design on the front cover with the title, even an embossed illustration. It's just beautiful. The texture of it's great. It feels great to read from too. The binding is not as tight as with the leather bounds. And it came with this beautiful bookmark that's really high quality. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't be more happy with this. And I'm so pumped now to get the next three from this Kickstarter. And then from a different Kickstarter, this was from Will White for the Cradle series. So he's uh, releasing hardcovers for the first time. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Cradle. I like it, especially the second half but uh, they were fairly cheap and for the set of the first three and they turned out just gorgeous. This is the first one unsold. So these are faux leather again. And then there is book two, Soul Smith. The colors of these, oh, it's just great. And the, the matching design, oh, these are just beautiful. And then suitable for a book called Black Flame. That one's all in black. So these were just fantastic and I think I might do a reread of the series before trying out the final book which is coming out soon and so I might dip into these and maybe do them immersively with Travis Baldry's great audio so yeah if if there are extras of these that you want maybe want to get a hold of that they have or you want to get on the future kickstarters that they do for the rest of the series these are awesome other new releases that came in this is Antimatter Blues. Love the cover. Also love this book. Read it already. This is by Edward Ashton. It's book two of the Mickey 7 series. Just fantastic, kind of slim, modern, hard sci-fi in the mold of Project Hail Mary or the Bobiverse. So a bit of humor, but still very serious stakes going on. Uh, just love this book and love the blues and purples in that cover. Oh, it's great. Here's one that I love the cover of, The Tyranny of Faith, but this ended up being a disastrous read a few weeks ago. I will probably unhaul this one and The Justice of Kings, uh, which is a shame. I do love these covers, and uh, the, the story, though, just totally lost me in this one, so that is a shame. Here's one I'm very excited to try, maybe at this summer, when there's audio for it. That's The Way of Edan by Philip Chase. This is self-pub and just a fantastic, beautiful cover on this one. Love the kind of matte feel of the cover. And I'm excited to try it, but I do want to try it maybe with Alan's narration from the Library of Alexandria, who's doing the audiobook. So I think that's how I'll get maximum enjoyment out of this. And the other two books are coming out later this year as well. So I'm in no rush because I, I tend to like to binge, so I'll probably wait a little while to dive into this, but super pumped and it's beautiful. And then one that was recommended by the Brothers Gwyn, that's Essex Dogs by Dan Jones. I've gotten so into historical fiction with Bernard Cornwell this past year, so I need to branch out a little bit, try some other authors. Uh, they were just raving about this one, so I can't wait to try. This next batch is from Book Outlet. I've been really trying hard to dial back on just not even visiting that website to be tempted but I still need to complete some collections. So here we go. We have a standalone Bernard Cornwell novel, Stonehenge. So a historical fiction set around the building of Stonehenge maybe, um, but it's Cornwell, can't wait to try that. 
And then nearing the end of getting all of the Saxon stories, this is Warriors of the Storm by Bernard Cornwell. I have almost all of them now, and I think I need to get just two more to complete that set. Very excited to dive in to that series. Here's one that I finally found the book out. It's volume one of Wild Cards. So this is the uh, series that's edited by George R. R. Martin that a lot of people contribute to. It's kind of a fantastical superhero gone wrong uh, type of situation. And I have no clue what to expect, but I want to give it a try. I got three more in the Alex Averis series. That's Veiled, Risen, and Forge. I think I'm just one away now from having that complete set. I will be starting that this year for sure. I saw Mike's book reviews raving about this series recently. That's We Are the Dead by Mike Shackle. Not actually sure what that, oh, The Last War is the name of the series. But love the cover design of these. And I think I'm going to get very into this. So very happy to have found that one cheap. And then I got book two of the Dandelion Dynasty. That's the Wall of Storms. So I have the first two of these. I'll be starting that this year. And uh, super pumped for that one. And then, even I haven't read any James Clavell yet. I do have Shogun. But this is Taipan. I think book two in his whole Asian saga. And so I'm slowly amassing his books but uh, definitely need to give them a try. Some more Ken Liu. It's The Hidden Girl and Other Stories. I've really loved some of the short stories from his other collection. I have to finish that one, then have a lot more short stories to go through with him. And then this modern sci-fi series that I don't see much about. That's Sea of Rust by C. Robert Cargill and Day Zero, which maybe is a prequel for this one. I'm not sure. But I've seen Words in Time uh, really recommending this recently. So excited to try something that I know so little about that has very little hype. So maybe I can get that hype train going some more. And to complete or nearly complete my Ursula Le Guin collection, this is The Word for World is Forest. That's a novella. Seen lots of praise for this one, but uh, I have been amassing all of her works and I'm very close now. And then to complete my David Farland Rune Lords collection, this is Chaos Bound. Uh, I don't believe the last book might ever be coming out, uh, unfortunately, because he passed away before he ever published it. But I believe I have all of them that are published now. And that is a 90s fantasy series that I am very keen to try. And lastly, I went to a charity book sale where books were extremely cheap. And so I got a whole little bunch here for less than $20. I got a bunch of Jeff Shara historical fiction. So this one is The Glorious Cause. Here's Rise to Rebellion. They're both historical fiction set during the American Revolutionary War against Britain, which I never read any of, so I want to try that. And this is The Rising Tide for set in World War II. So yeah, a few more historical fiction for me to try. This is Sherwood Smith's Crown Duel. I know absolutely nothing about this. I've seen lots of praise for the Inda Quartet series by her, but um, yeah, no clue about that one. This one is one of my favorites, The Winter King by Bernard Cornwell. I have a different trade paperback edition, but I really like this cover for it and just uh, saw one of my favorite books and figured, oh, I want to have this other edition of it. And an author I know very little about is Ken Follett, but I do have Pillars of the Earth which gets lots of praise. This is maybe a sequel, World Without End. Uh, I don't really know how this series works, but yeah, if I like Pillars of the Earth, I'll probably want to continue. And lastly, there is a historical fiction book by Irving Stone called The Greek Treasure that follows the archeologist uh, Schliemann who discovered a lot of important ancient Greek sites uh, in the 20th century and this seemed like a, a really interesting one for me because I studied ancient Greek archaeology for a bit in college. And yeah, uh, very interested to actually try this. I've never seen this anywhere before. I did not know it existed until I ran across it at the book sale. But that's the fun of going to used bookstores or book sales. You never know what you're going to run across. All right, so that was my spring book haul. And let me know if you're excited about any of these books for me to try. And yeah, I'll catch you later.